Hello, nerds. Thank you once again for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Music Edition for the week of January 29th, 2018. This week, we're talking some clutch news, we're talking about the Grammys, we're talking about the sword, uh, there's a bunch of people that are leaving the music industry, all kinds of stuff is going on, but first... Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. And I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois, Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commando of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Now come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. And you're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. This week's episode is kind of going to be just all updates. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically all of them, because we've talked about mm, pretty much everything on this list. The thing on this list that we haven't talked about that I mentioned on Obzine, which probably most of you don't listen to that podcast, um, but the, the is uh, farewells. So we're going to start there. We have farewell tours for Slayer, Leonard Skinner, and Elton John all scheduled. Um, it seems that the none of them are happening immediately. None of them are... Uh, they're not, like, on their fa farewell tour right now. Slayer uh, has to finish. They're on the tour right now with... Uh, or they're going to start the tour with Anthrax and Lamb of God and Behemoth, the one that we talked about a couple weeks ago that was rumored, and then, like, three days after we talked about it, it was announced as being an actual thing. Uh, so they have to do that tour, and then after that tour, then they're doing their farewell farewell tour. Why can I not say farewell? So they're still a little ways away from their farewell tour. Um, Leonard Skinner uh, is just now starting to announce dates. They say that their farewell tour is going to take probably close to two years if not longer uh to complete so they're not really going anywhere anytime soon and elton john has 300 tour dates for his farewell tour so it's gonna take a while to do that as well so it's not like they're immediately just done with music but they are saying goodbye it's a very long drawn out goodbye but it's still goodbye um, but somebody who is just basically immediately quitting music, at least immediately quitting touring, is Neil Diamond. Um, Neil Diamond has Parkinson's and it, it is stopping him from being able to tour, though he has said he's still going to record albums. He's just not going to be able to perform live anymore. So that's, I mean, that's kind of cool. I, I, I want to get to the point in my music career where I can just put out albums and not have to tour, that would be really cool. Not have to play, nah, no, I like playing live, so I'll do that some more. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we have farewells to all those acts. Um, not, I mean, not anything I put on heavy rotation, that's for sure. So, but uh, there's a lot of metalheads out there that are gonna be really sad. There's no more New Slayer. There's a lot of classic rock uh, listeners out there that are gonna be sad about Elton John and Leonard Skinner. And then there's a lot of single uh, moms, uh, grandmas out there that are going to be missing. I don't know who's going to miss Neil Diamond. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I mean, he's done some classic stuff, but whatever. Uh, so moving on, we are talking Clutch. This is just a real quick update. They have finished their recording, which we talked about a couple weeks ago. They were going into the studio. So now they're done in the studio, which means... By the summer, I would imagine, we will have a new Clutch record. So, yay! Clutch! Um, it's really funny because uh, Neil uh, Fallon... Phil Fallon, yeah, Neil Fallon, um, said that because they were recording in Nashville, he said he was just... He was just... As long as they didn't make uh, something that sounded like Garth Brooks, I think, was what he said about it. It was really funny. Because, you know, it's Clutch, and they could never sound like anything but Clutch, so whatever. Anyway, continuing on... 
Next, we're talking about The Sword. Also just finished work on their, actually no, not just finished work. Um, it just gave a release date for their new album. Uh, set for release on March 23rd, they released their first single, Deadly Nightshade, which you can find a link to in the description. Um, Sword, fantastic, great, great stuff, cannot complain. Moving on. Uh, next, we're talking an update on that solo Jonathan Davis record. He just released a video for his first single called What What It Is, because I haven't listened to that one yet. So I will put a link in the description so we can listen to it together. I don't have high hopes for it though. Uh, next is Justin Timberlake put out another single this week. That single is what I've been waiting for. Uh, it's with Chris Stapleton. The name of the song is Say Something. It is off of his next record, Man of the Woods. Um, yeah, uh, this, so one, the song itself is Justin Timberlake flexing that vocal muscle. This is Justin Timberlake doing what he does best. Two, the video for this song, which again, link in the description, is something very unique, which is very interesting coming from a freaking teeny bopper. Um, so it's basically Chris, he, he and Chris Stapleton walking through this venue, playing guitars, singing the song. And like the audio at times is live, live recorded from when they were filming the video. And obviously at times it's uh, the pre-recorded studio version, but that's not something, let me, for those of you that don't know, when you're making a music video, they're not really singing when they make those music videos. They're just uh, lip syncing along with a track and then they go in and dub in the music later. I don't know if you know this, but that's how it works. Magic of Hollywood and whatnot. Um, so for them to take this, and it's, and it's really cool because it's got like this, uh, uh, Birdman kind of vibe to it. I, I, I have to watch it again to be sure, but it looks like they were shooting it as one single take. So you follow Justin Timberlake for a while and then it, and then you, he runs into Chris Stapleton and then we follow Chris Stapleton for a second and then we follow both of them. And I'm, I'm fairly certain, I mean, obviously it's not actually one take, but it's filmed to look like one take if I remember correctly. It's really, really cool. For every reason, for the quality music, for the quality cinematography, for the quality audio, definitely check out that video. It's it's easily one of the best music videos I've seen in quite a while, and I'm not gonna lie. Um, next, though, we are talking about Avenged Sevenfold at the Grammys. Um, as of a few years ago, the Grammys stopped uh, putting in the broadcast, stopped putting in the television broadcast, the best rock song category. Um, this year, Avenged Sevenfold has been nominated for Best Rock Song for something off of the stage, which I still haven't listened to. Um, but they're not going to be at the Grammys. At first, the announcement was it was made to sound like they're doing it in protest because they don't agree with the way that the rock category has been taken out of the broadcast. So they don't agree with the way they're treating rock and roll. Um, but then I was reading today that it's really an issue of logistics. Like they didn't go out, of, they could have gone out of their way to uh, make it to the Grammys, was totally within their means and they just decided not to because of the first region that was definitely part of it. But probably the bigger part was that the, it would cost them around $150,000 to get them and their wives and such to uh, New York to attend one night and then get back to where they are on tour. So that's probably the bigger reason. Uh, but still, I, I, I mean, I, I gotta give it to them a little bit because that's a pretty cool protest to get behind. Like, rock and roll is the lifeblood of this country. Matter of fact, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago now, um, metal is the largest genre in the world and it doesn't get any kind of recognition in this country when it comes to the mainstream award shows. Uh, so, and now rock is kind of seeing that as well. Rock is not getting the, the proper coverage anymore either. So 
I can I can get behind Avenged Sevenfold for that reason, but the logistical reason, the more likely big reason why they're not going is kind of silly. Um, so let's see, is that everything? That's not quite everything. The last thing we're gonna cover is kind of goofy. Let me just double check and make sure, yeah. So the last bit <laughs> has to do with Converge, and this really could have gone in the supplemental, but I just thought it was funny music thing, so we're gonna put it at the end of the music video. Uh, Converge was playing a show, and to start off the show, because it's a hardcore show, the kids like to jump up on the stage and get up there with the band, and sometimes they'll scream something in the microphone, and then they'll immediately like jump off stage in, in a, a decorative fashion. Um, this guy, uh, I'll see if I can find the video because I really, I think I saw it in like my Instagram feed, so I might have to search for it again. But it's really funny, and if I can find it, it'll definitely be linked down low. This guy, <laughs> they were starting off the set, and like uh, you hear Baloo is is getting going on that guitar, and then the drums kick in, and this guy puts his arm around Jake, and instead of screaming into the mic with him, <laughs> he takes a selfie, and all the music stops. And everyone in the venue starts, to, it's just quiet, just crickets. <laughs> and then uh, he, take, he he gets his selfie, Jacob Bannon has this really pissed off look on his face. And, and the music starts up again and this kid goes to jump off stage. But when he does his little flip off stage, the crowd parts. So he <laughs> hits the floor. Oh man, I really hope I can find it. I will definitely link it down below. But that is where we're going to end this week's episode. What did I miss? What are we going to talk about next week for music? Definitely let me know in the comments below. If you want to further go deeper into this conversation, though, jump on over to the website, generallynerdy.net. You'll find all the social medias and all the freebies up on the website. If you want to contribute, if you want to help this conversation continue, then definitely jump over to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy is where you can do that. Um, just a dollar a month gets you on all of the things and all of the stuff. And I mean, we've gone over this before. But if you are new to the YouTube channel, definitely click that subscribe button. Oh, or if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, there's a there's a follow button, I believe is how they do that there. Or if you are on iTunes, then click the thumbs up, subscribe there. Wherever you're listening to, subscribe. If you like this video, this episode, click the like button. If you are watching on YouTube, there is a subscribe button above my head. You can click or tap right there. If you are behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap right there to the left of my face. But before you do that, always, Always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.